Hey, this is uh, just a little bit of a blog or something. I'll call it a, a quarantine blog. That seems messed up. I don't wanna make a joke about something so serious. I'm just sitting right here on a, the toilet in my garage. It does work. There's a, there's a working toilet in our garage. If anybody was wondering, nobody asked, but um, I just, wanted to do a little like vlog because I used to do YouTube videos and I used to put so much effort and time and energy into creating things that I thought was I was creating for others. I just was trying to find an outlet and the pressure got to be too much and it was no I didn't even have a following like it was not about that it just was like I felt like even though only a couple people watch my stuff, it still is a lot of pressure to live up to something that I've already kind of created for myself. So anyway, now I've kind of looked at this social media platform, YouTube, as like a way to vlog, a way to basically diary journal, uh, try to just be able to look back on this moment. So it's day one, technically, of quarantine, self-quarantine. Uh, self-isolation but except for it's not self it's like day one as of like an hour ago the governor of California issued a mandatory like stay in shelter order like unless you are going to work and work is like not closed because a lot of businesses are closed unfortunately um, then you can go there you can go to the grocery store you could go to get gas you go to the bank and that's pretty much it. So it's something that I never thought I'd be saying before. And I felt like, I don't know, I don't know how things are going to be a year from now. And I would really like to look back on this moment and remember how I felt. And if I write it down, like I found recent journals of mine and uh, I found old journals of mine recently. And I could in a way relate to myself, but in a way I couldn't. I was like, wow, what headspace was I in? So in a video, it's like point blank, like boom, all my emotions here. Don't even get it twisted, future self or anybody who's watching this. Like I feel a little bit afraid just because this are like unprecedented times, but I don't feel like that afraid. I feel hopeful while feeling afraid. I feel like, <laughs> look at all my random cleaning products. They're not even good. Okay, they're old, they're Dollar Tree ass and that's a rusty ass, stanky ass shelf. Okay, I rent, okay, I'm a renter. This is not my home, okay? We're not gonna put a bunch of money into fixing a bunch of this shit in our house when we just rent the place, okay? We love it how it is. That's is. I'm not here to defend my house. I just saw my ugly ass shelf and I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, I just want to remember in the future like how I felt in this moment and I feel like I said a little bit afraid but also very hopeful and I feel like like god damn I should really provide some context I guess. There's this virus that's going around, the coronavirus, COVID-19. Everybody knows about it right now so that's why I felt like I didn't need to provide context but if I'm watching this a year from now I'm gonna be like wait what am I even talking about or am I is the shelter gonna turn from like 14 days well right now it's still further notice the governor said till further notice he didn't even say 14 days so I'm not really sure what life is gonna be like in the future I really hope that all this blows over and we learn from it in a very uh, constructive way but god forbid it get worse I just want to remember what this moment was like. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be okay. Don't let them scare you. If you feel in your heart that everything's going to be okay, everything's going to be okay. Tyler and I were just having a conversation about how we feel that the earth always knows what to do. And whether it's a virus going around. Sorry, I don't know how to hold the camera, I guess. Super flattering angle also, by the way. Whether it's a virus or wildfires in Australia or uh, an earthquake or a tsunami or, you know, it could be anything. The earth always knows what it needs. And I was inspired to feel this way. Tyler and I were having this conversation because we saw this post online about like how China's air has gotten like immensely better like the pollution has gone down so much since all this has happened and people have been uh, quarantined sheltering in place 
uh, because of minimizing travel and stuff, the emissions in the air have way gone down like all over the world. Apparently in Italy, there's canals that dolphins are now entering because people are like not in the water anymore right now. So dolphins are there again. In Thailand, I guess there's more monkeys running around. Uh, uh, there's deer in places where there hasn't been deer in a long time. Like there's good things happening among all the craziness. So anyway, I don't wanna make this too long. I just wanted to check in and tell you guys right now, whoever watched this, like it's gonna be okay. You know that, I know that. If you ever feel like it's not going to be okay, just take a second and take a breath. And don't go looking for the answers from everybody else. Usually you have the answers already inside of you. Usually you already know what the answer is. You just, you're not looking for the answer from somebody else. You're looking for somebody to tell you that that's the right answer so you can feel like it's the right answer. Do you feel me? I don't know if I'm making any sense. Anyway, stay positive. You got this. Do something that makes you happy. Try not to be too afraid. Don't let fear run you. Two motivating forces in life are fear and love. Don't let fear run you. Try to be motivated by love. Try to be compassionate and kind towards each other. Don't be uh, ripping toilet paper out of each other's hands and shit at the grocery store. That is unacceptable. Cut that, cut that out. <sighs> Tyler and I are thinking about getting a bidet. That would be freaking cool. I'll let you guys know if I get a bidet, but... Anyway, yeah, I want to do like a little daily, little just short, like something under 10 minutes. I just need to film myself more. It's just awkward. If you like, if you never film yourself and you try to film yourself, you know what I mean. You take selfies all damn day, but you try to make a video of yourself, it's like super awkward. But anyway, stay positive. Much love you guys. You got this out there. Have a good uh, rest of your quarantine and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs> Actually, I'll see you tomorrow. This is just day one of quarantine. <laughs> uh, it is March 19th, 8.30 p.m. See you tomorrow.